Hi, this is Tony with the Kinsman Free Public Library. And to continue on with the Ravelry video from yesterday, I thought I would show the crafting and baking cooking communities on Reddit. Reddit is basically one giant message board community. They have commu smaller boards within the big board that they call subreddits. And these subreddits can cover topics from just about anything and everything. There's cute animal subreddits. There's those wacky po Facebook post subreddits. There's subreddits to help cope with some of the more negative aspects of life. There's subreddits for knitting, for DIYing, home improvement, books. There's just an endless amount of possible communities. And if there isn't a community, you are always given the option to create your own subreddit. In order to sign up for Reddit, it's fairly easy. If you've signed up for other social media in the past, you can sign up for a Reddit account. You just need to make a screen name, use your email password, and then tell them some of the things you're interested in so they can start helping you find the subreddits and the boards you're into. So I follow quite a few, but some of my favorites are the knitting one, R all, which is all just cute animal pictures. There's our sourdough, there's our baking, there's our house plants, our succulents, and then I don't know, our crafts, our DIY. I follow a lot of them. As you can see, I also follow some of the our, the slightly weirder ones. Oh, see here, look, here's one of the cute ones. I'll show you the picture real quick. Isn't that puppy adorable? I love looking at animal pictures. They're making everything so much better. But the great thing about these communities, at least the baking and the crafting communities, are they're very friendly and very wholesome. And they're welcoming to new members and people who want to learn are who are just getting started and they want to kind of share with their making or doing or they need advice and tips so we're gonna i'm gonna try and pull up some of the other subreddits that might exist if i can spell so here is a crochet one there's a couple different ones obviously there's just straight crochet crochet verse which is a new one crochet patterns crochet blankets so there are a few under crochet that you could Join. All right, and then cooking. Oops. So there's our cooking, our cooking for beginners, our cooking for one, cooking videos, cooking tips. There's lots of different subreddits that you could look for. Um, home re model. So our home improvement, our DIY. And home automation could all be things if you're into home and remodeling and improvement that could be good for you. Let's see. Um, what are some other hobbies? Model building. Oh. Model makers. So that is for model making, not modeling. There's leather working. So we got our leather working, our leather craft, and our leather classifieds where you can sell your leather work. So like I like I said, there's dozens of these. Um, there's even some that are for like interior design. Our Cozy Places, I follow that one, also cookie decorating. So if you like cake decorating and cookie decorating, these are also great communities. So Our Cozy Places is really cute. It's people who like to interior design, but they like that more shabby, chic, lived-in aesthetic. So you can get great decorating ideas from watching these or just a quick escape. If you did want to post on a community, we'll go to cookie decorating. There's a couple of different ways you can post. You can... Un on your main page, you can create a post and pick the community you want to share to, or you can go to that subreddit and create a post under there. So it lets you do image and video. You can share links, create a poll, and then you'll just make your little post and hit share. 
Some communities do have what they call a karma level, and that's basically to make sure that you're not a troll or a bot that's going to mess everything up. It also is a kind of a way for the community to gauge you yourself because the higher your karma, the friendlier you are, the more you post, the less likely you are to cause problems in a certain community. Low karmas are really bad and that tends to be what causes people to not let you post or join community. So you definitely want to get your karma high. There's also an app for Reddit. It's literally just Reddit. It's set up much of the same way. The posting and everything is very similar to this. So it transitions over quite nicely. And I actually use the app way more than I use the website. And I think just for me myself, because I'm so used to using the app, I like it more and it's definitely easier. And you can also kind of fall down a hole of just scrolling and looking and reading and falling into things. But yeah, you can also turn on night mode, so things will go dark for you if you prefer dark mo night mode. I have dark mode turned on on my app, just not on the website, because like I said, I'm very rarely ever here. If we go back to Reddit, you can see this sort by. You can sort by best, hot, new, top, and rising, and that'll give you different posts. So new, obviously, is going to give you ones that have just been posted within the last couple hours. Best are the ones that are the most popular. Top are the ones that are even more popular. Rising are the ones that are starting to get a lot of attention. You can also give things called awards. Um, let's see if somebody has one. So under this give award, you can click that and it'll let you give all these different awards. You do need to buy these though. So I personally have never given one. I also have never received one. So that's okay. It's not a requirement to join the communities. These are just for if you come across the comment or a post that you think is so extra awesome. It deserves a little bit more recognition than just a upvote or a comment. And upvotes are basically you just hit this arrow and it gives it an upvote and helps make it readily vis more visible. Downvotes will start to hide it if a post gets too many downvotes or a comment gets too many downvotes. So that is Reddit and some of the crafting communities on the website. Like I said, there are dozens and dozens and dozens of communities. On the right, you can see there's beer and steak and boxing and animation. So you can find a community for just about anything that you yourself might be interested in. All right, well, go out there, find some inspiration on Reddit and Ravelry, and I will keep finding these super fun crafting and creation communities for you guys to explore. Thanks for listening.